Welcome to Designer of the Week. This week we'll be looking at the work of the Finnish architect and designer, Alvar Aalto. Aalto treated his main commissions as a complete work of art, which meant that he designed everything inside the colour scheme, the fittings, the furniture, lighting, everything as one harmonious object. And that is especially true of his masterpiece, the Paimio Tuberculosis Sanatorium in Finland. For that, he designed the, the furniture and the objects for the patient's rooms with patient comfort as the utmost. Um, he designed wash hand basins that were so-called silent because the patients shared rooms and so that they wouldn't be disturbed when the other patient was up washing their hands or whatever, um, the, the wash hand basin shouldn't make a noise. He also designed wardrobes that were lifted off the floor to allow ease of cleaning and the furniture in itself was made of plywood which was his preferred uh, material when it came to furniture. He didn't like tubular steel, he thought it was too hard. Um, he liked the natural material of wood. Um, the, the backrest here he deemed as being in the perfect uh, angle for, giving, for aiding the patient's breathing. And also, they were obviously not upholstered because it, they had to be easily cleaned. They, he made two chairs, especially for the, the Paimio Sanatorium. The large Paimio and then this one, the smaller. Um, this early one that we, sh we see here, we see that this is early because of the, the angle of the back. And because the curve on it isn't as defined as the later pieces. It is a much more straight back and almost chopped off at the back, whereas the later piece is slightly lower and more curved. Here we have another recognisable Alto classic. Um, it's called the Savoy Vase. It was originally designed in 1936 for a competition by the glass company, the Finnish glass company Itala. Um, Alto based the design on the waves of, the, the shape of the waves on the ocean. Uh, which was quite interesting because alto means wave in Finnish. Um, it was given its, that was in 1936, it was given its name because he used it in the interior of the Savoy restaurant uh, in the centre of Helsinki. Alto was also a painter and a sculptor, uh, as we can see in this piece here. Uh, he's often referred to as the master of the curve, and he loved experimenting with plywood like this. This is purely a playful sculpture that he made. Paimio may have been his international breakthrough, but Alvaralto was commissioned to do the Finnish to make the Finnish pavilion at the World's Fair in New York in 1939. And it was so well received that even the great architect Frank Lloyd Wright said it was the work of a genius. <laughs> 